Twitter, the entire day KFCB has been trending, and this is the reason why. So there was an allegation that KFCB now required um, vloggers and Kenyan YouTubers to pay an annual fee of twelve thousand shillings for registering and licensing film agents, local and international filmmakers. Pay five thousand shillings, license every week you upload a video on YouTube. So the people love, hey guys, welcome to my channel. You would have to pay <laughs> five thousand shillings every week for every video you upload, and then you should also share your videos with the guys <laughs> at KCB for approval for more, this was the yes. part that got me do you know how many Kenyans upload content on social media sites on a daily basis? Can you imagine if you had to hand it in for approval and then it's given back to you? Basically, the way you wake up in the morning and you scroll through your different social media sites, there would actually be a chunk of time when there's nothing. <laughs> we, not in a bad way, but we're wasting too much energy on the wrong things. Thank, Thank you. you. I, yeah, as, did you as, see as, the as image today <laughs> of people who were walking things. along the edge of a bridge because yeah. there was nowhere else to pass? Yes. I'm like, really, your biggest problem right now is the vloggers? Is, is what guys are it, vlogging. It, it shouldn't matter. However, it's sometimes I see some of these things and then you see the humor that um, Kenyans bring out and you're like, sometimes I can see I can see why you're so frustrated. You have no other way of addressing an issue in this country unless you make it funny because what are you going to do? You'll scream. I, you know, you've, you're like, if I go onto those streets one more time to complain about one more thing that is wrong with this country i'm going to lose my mind right so one of the, there's even somebody here who said kfcb is out to ensure the only jobs that kenyan youth get are bjs and i'm just like wow oh, wow that's oh, young geez. people are making so much money off these platforms i do not expect any money from them all right in fact they they pay them sometimes when you get the uh, right number of followers and they're making a living and they're making a life and this is how they're expressing their creativity and you know um all these social media sites be it youtube be it facebook be it twitter they also have their own mechanisms of monitoring anything terror related anything pornographic related anything that is just abusive in general as far as content is concerned so to try and be the moral police of things that you don't you mm -hmm. do not even own makes absolutely no sense uh, many young people do not have opportunities. Many young people are doing very shady things. And then the ones who have decided, you know what, I want to try and do something good with my life yes. and uh, make some small videos for myself, uh, then this happens. You know, it doesn't really make sense and it really limits creativity. If you look at how many films Kenya has lost out because of the stringent laws that we have from mm. these guys, surely. Yes. Sure. And you know, but the it, thing is... It doesn't... Uh -huh. what, then, what as an agency are you there for? Yes. To na dome as because young guys that is a rot. <laughs> that is a lot of revenue. Yeah. Wait. And I feel the need to um, also clarify what KFCB said about this because I mean we've made fun of all the other tweets that have come about. People are concerned, so now Niki record wedding yangu. Lazima ni to make KFCB were proof before I can actually show my family. Others are asking if I'm seen on live TV, will I also be fined? You know, people. Are <laughs> guess why Kenyans just need help. But KFCB says KFCB does not charge for YouTube at all or social media. The only area where the board deals with social media is about content monitoring and where and um, and when there is gross content that exposes children to harmful content, be it porn, be it terror, be it abusive content.